Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the Southeast of the United States. And we're gonna be taking a look at some excerpts from the final episode of the first season of Street Dance Girl Fighter. This is going to encompass round one. And I will say the audio on round one footage is a bit sensitive. I did recently get a new webcam for when I do full episode reactions and I was testing out kind of the audio side of it. And bless it, it was not really feeling how loud I can get. So do forgive me if some of my sound on those analysis sound a bit wild and out of pocket, that's why. Um, if you also notice that maybe some of my feedback seems a bit out of context or a little bit different or strange, it could be because I am tailoring it to some other aspects that I found within the episode. I do try to tailor and tie things all back together and sometimes that doesn't happen. So I apologize if I say something that may um, seem a bit confusing. Hopefully I'll be able to clarify that in the, in the discussion that will hopefully follow. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. For a friend, it's each track. Like, that's freaking sick. Weapon with Noonien and Floor. I know what I'm gonna say about that. I like this for them. Hey, I like the fact they're wearing blue for Itzy. It's kind of what it gives me. That was cute. A little bit of a spacing there, but they fixed it. Nice. That was cute. I really enjoyed that. Of course, there was a couple moments I was like, uh oh, we tracked, we were tracking a little bit, especially that little dive with the little hips to the floor. I say, be mindful. Last performance of your teenage years should not start with that. <laughs> so, but. Bring it back here. I gotta kind of guesstimate where this performance is. Okay, about right here. About right there. Okay. So, and although I think this is really fun, love the fact, honestly, this is a great way for the girls to build their portfolio. You know, when you really think about it, because when you think through, like, they choreograph, technically they all choreograph to an itty track. It's a great thing to have, have that under your belt. They're under the Street Dance Girl Fighter. They were trained. I mean, Noonien was under Wavy and you got Floor. You know, it's just, it's really cool to see, you know, just the, the mentorships here. And I don't know how much the mentors contribute to this but it's still very very nice to see so much of them exposed to the media in a in a good way but honestly you know there's come some toxicity with that um now this was really fun i love having the three here it does remind me of itsy's born to be with the flowers but this is more in a group of three which i really like um i love how they all weapon which is really nice little touch there they do choose to go a lot in unison in the course, especially. Um, hold on, I gotta like recalibrate my camera. Did it work? Yeah, okay. Um, 
So they, they did choose to do a lot of unison, but some of their formations are still really nice though. I do like the fact that we're branching the formation out and having a group come forward. It's really great reveal. And then having them go into a different formation. I love the X, really nice. I do see we have the three, three, two, two. Um, yeah, honestly, I think that looks fine. It's symmetrical on both sides, great choice. It honestly looks as well that they're very tasteful and mindful of where they put the different colors. So I know some of our dancers are in blue, some are in yellow. It is, and I know they depict the two different groups. It's really, really nice to see them all be intentional about where the blue goes, where the yellow goes. Now it's time for them to have their moment. Still in unison, but then we kind of bleed it out. One of our dancers is extending a little bit further out than the other one in range. So that would just be my note to clarify. Yeah, just there. But then we get it all nice and tailored back in. Boom, ch boom, ch love a little hip accent there. Super fun. Then with the double, bleeding it through, bringing it back in, which I really like. Then having them walk away. I think it's totally fine. I love this moment here. Little tut flower accent, having them all go in different directions, which was really cool. Diving through. Now this. <laughs> I don't think we needed to do this. Personally, we are still teenagers. Teenagers should not be uh, trying to understand the connotation or the suggestiveness of this. So that's why my overall note would be find another option in general. So I'm not going to comment on it. We're just going to leave it alone. The, the bleed, like the ripple through though, that was a nice ripple. Boom, boom, boom. Triple on that. Then having your back line. Get ready to go, be accented here. This is one of the first times we're not really catering to the um, to the colors. So that would just be a little a little note there as to even in that motion, just making sure that we don't just have people randomly placed in the colors, especially if the color is so dynamically different if they're two primary colors. But I understand why that's the choice. Um, some of them put their hands on the hips, some put them on their back, so that would be a clarification near the front and the back. I like using the uses of the arms with just the ranges off on some of their positionings. Diving through. Weapon, I like that weapon. Yeah, it's fun. Now it makes sense for this to be in unison because it's your focal point choreo, right? So seeing this here, that boom, boom, diving it through, which is nice. Oh, I love that with the groove, very polyrhythmic, aiming a little weapon, totally makes sense why they went with that. Yeah, bum, da, da, bum, bum. really enjoyable there, digging it through, still in unison. Personally, we could have done in every other to some degree, something of the nature, but I do know this could be the highlight choreo that they did for um, this one or the next course. Our highlight choreo is used for TikTok or social media, so it would make sense why they prefer to keep it in unison, just to make you know, just to make it to where it's easier to, to see um, the choreo to you know to replicate it. So I totally get that choice. Now we do have the two sides, two different colors, which I really like. Super fun. Diving it through. Yep, enjoyed that. And I love that here, having the energy of all five of them. I am a fan of odd numbers. I think this is the Itzy. This is the Itzy amount, right? Itzy is a group of five. Oh, uh, the da da da. I love that. Yeah, Queen Bee. I love that here. If they were doing Queen Bee, they could have gotten away with a crown here, but they did choose this. I don't know if that's like a little Easter egg for some other kind of connotation behind it, but I do like it. Yeah, da 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 da. Bad, bad. Love that with the dive down. Dive down, same note. Luckily, we're not really looking at it, so I'm not going to touch it. Going from here with my group in the back, really nice, probably they bleed it out, back in. You have two yellow, two blue. I love that. Down, boom, bring it around. I love the choice of having one of them up at the top. So you showcase a variety of levels. I do think my one that's in the front, if she went down, that could have made it look more full, but I don't mind it being out. Bring it back in. Do -do -do. Ba -ba -ba. Really nice. Opening it out. Super fun. I love the dive through, dive through. But notice that some of them feel a bit more labored in that diving through. So my note would be to try to get them to push their energy a little bit more full in, in these directions that they're trying to go. With a swing right there. Ba -da -da -da. That's cute. This is cute. Diving it through. I do that da 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 that could have been, now I understand like making the highlight choreo to be applicable for social media, but that would have looked really nice as an add-on personally with how they chose to do the choreo. Even here, I get it. 
by the transitions, but there's just a little bit, just for the entire group, a little too much unison for my personal taste for the type of track this is. I think that having a sense of variety of cannons add-ons, dynamics of some kind, level, more level choices, I think this would have really enhanced it and taken it to the next level because the content is fine, but we are teetering a, a bit on the stagnant side because of, like I said, we are dealing with a lot of unison here. Mighty through, it did look like she got a nosebleed and is wiping off that's what it looks like. I don't know if there was a certain intention behind it, but that did that is what it came across as. I love the digging through and da 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 da. I love the energy. That's really nice. Three and a four. Yep, digging through. Ba da 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 da. Super fun to see. With the kick, that's super fun too to see. And I love that bum da da boom boom. I really like the energy that does remind me a lot of the Rookie Class from Street Woman Fighter Season 2. This obviously came out before that. I just really like the placement of that there. It's super fun. Digging through. And then now we still have our two groups on the sides. It looks like we have a little bit of blue on the yellow side, a little bit of yellow on the blue side. And then they finish. Boom. I really like that finishing touch here where they're all kind of aiming to each other and then they're all finishing the front. This is a really nice ending visual, personally. Very fun. I think this is a really great start. This should do well. I'm not going to be playing judge this time. I'm just going to be analyzing, giving some notes. And I really, really love the fact, so far, probably one of my favorite things about this season is the fact that it gives so much opportunity to build portfolio for these dancers. I really feel that. And I think it's truly incredible. Just like with Street Woman Fighter, a lot of them are already established. So them adding extra credentials on all their dancing to this track and their choreography is the choreo to the track. Track. like that's fine it's just another like feather to the cap if that makes sense but here these girls a lot of them don't have any credentials except for just their name the fact that they're on the show so it's really cool that they can now add this hey I choreographed for itsy you know I choreographed it on an itsy track and this was made for me like that's really cool and I can't say that like that's freaking sick so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this I'm curious about the scoring once again it's final so I feel that even though they are keeping it pretty competitive if you look at it um, but I do like the I like the opportunities of this first round, and I am intrigued on how they're going to perform their the color of the crew, you know, because we saw that with all the other seasons, and I have technically seen season two, so I haven't seen season one yet, and I'm definitely I'm definitely ready to see what each crew is going to bring to the table in that regard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out any more full episode reactions of the Street Fighter series, I have been doing full episodes to both season one and season two of Street Dance Girl Fighter. I also have a ton of content that tailors to Street Woman Fighter and Street Man Fighter, specifically certain challenges that didn't make their way to YouTube. I have all of that in a nice pretty folder called Block Content. So you can go check it out there. I also analyze a wider range of content, including D-League from Japan, which is a professional dance crew league as well as many different types of k-pop groups and i have quite a few marathons that are actively happening right now as well as finished so if you're somebody who likes to binge a lot of analysis and content hopefully i have something that could interest you there but if you're okay with just seeing what comes out on youtube every day i'm totally welcoming of that and i always appreciate discussions on both sides once again i am jess and i will catch you on the flip side bye